Hello champions, how are you doing? Well, exports is one activity that can give you tremendous results, but a lot of people fear getting into it. Fear is present only when there are a lot of things which are unknown. But if you know, then the fear is lost. So if you're a trader, if you're a manufacturer, or if you're an aspiring entrepreneur looking to do good business, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to be covering how you can start your exports. I'm also going to be sharing how you can find out if your product or the product that you're thinking of has a market. And if yes, where is that market? Which countries you could export to? And I'm also going to be covering how you can go about promoting what you want to export to those countries. Keep watching. Hardik and I make videos that can help your company grow. If you think what I say makes sense and a conversation with me can help you grow and troubleshoot some of your business challenges, then all you need to do is get onto my website, scroll a little down, select the relevant area you need help on, answer a few very, very basic questions and you will be able to book a one-time free one-on-one -on -one consultation call with me. So before we get into discussing about exports, the three areas that I mentioned to you about, let me first start with this disclaimer. Export is a legit business, a true business. It is not a get rich quick scheme. And because it is a legit business, it will demand some level of discipline. It will demand some level of intelligence. It will demand some action from your end. As long as you're willing to put in that discipline and time and action things, you are good and you can extract tremendous benefits out of this exercise of export for your own business. So let's start with the first point. What is it that you need to do to get prepared on your export journey? So there are four things that you will need. Number one, you will need to form a company. Now, if you already have a company, then you can skip this step. But in a lot of cases, you will want to and you may want to consider still starting a new company. And I'll tell you why. When you export, people that you're going to be talking to are not going to be people from the same country. So the name of the company becomes very, very important. It needs to be something that people will not end up misspelling. Because if they misspelling, uh, happens then they may not be able to correspond to you effectively they may not be able to search you effectively i'll give you an example my company's name is fx business solutions private limited now fx if i say it to somebody chances are people may write it as f the letter f and the letter x whereas that's not how i spell my company's name my company's name is spelled as e f f e x that's what my company's company is called so you've got to have names which are easy and therefore it becomes important sometimes to do your business to keep the name simple to start with now companies can be a proprietorship company a partnership company a private limited company i will not get into the details of what companies type what the company types are and how, what are the benefits and disadvantages to them all you need to do is do not fuss over this. Go and talk to your company secretary, not the CA. Company secretary. Search out for them on portals like Just Dial. Get a list of company secretaries. Speak to them. Understand the disadvantages, advantages of forming a company. Form a company. It's pretty simple. Don't uh, complicate it. The second thing that you will need to do is make a bank account. Obviously, when you're getting into business, it, your savings account won't help. So you need a bank account. Now, a lot of startup entrepreneurs, when they when they contact me, and I, a lot of bankers also confuse in this case, you don't require a GST number to start a current account. GST number is applicable after you reach a certain turnover. And because you're starting this new company and there is no turnover to in the past, you can open a current account without a GST number. Having said that, is GST recommended? Yes, it is because a, 
a person would all person sitting in another country would always like probably to transact with a person who is in the business already who knows the business because that kind of gives him confidence that whatever you promised you will be able to deliver but for bank account you don't require gst it's not mandatory the third thing that you will need is a iec number now iec is import export certificate now where do you get this number from do not go and pay somebody a large sum of money to get this number all you got to do is go on to this website called dgft.gov.in in that website go to the services section and go to iec profile management the first thing that you will see there is an apply now button just apply click on that give them some basic documents and you will have your iec certificate in no time so don't pay anybody a hefty amount this is something that you very easily can do now mind you if you cannot do this yourself i would tell you stay away from exports because this is the minimum that one needs to know to venture into a business like exports and do it safely the fourth thing that you will need to do is take admission or membership into export promotion council it's also called as boards or trade promotion councils now when you take admission into this board you also get a membership number in uh, for your membership this number is something that you got to use in all the communication that you have with the buyers in the other country why because it's important export promotion councils are are setups which are run by exporters but they are set up in uh, connection with the government and there are efforts made to promote your product so if you are a part of a of, of a council they not only help you with promotion aspects but they also give you a lot of database and it adds to your credibility besides all of these uh, membership that you take export promotion council membership will also help you in case if you get stuck during a transaction so you got to be a part of the export promotion council now where do you find export promotion council fairly simple just google up export promotion councils in india and you will get a long list of export promotion councils all these councils are product based councils so select your product and then jump into the membership of that particular products export promotion council now i will paste the link of uh, all the export promotion councils in the in the description box go click on that and you will get a ready made link now coming to the second part whether your product is marketable or no does it have people who want to buy uh, and if yes then which countries are these people residing in which country should you export which country you should not export now i understand this is a very important data and guess what it's very easy to do that all of you i'm sure have this code called hsn code okay this is a unique code assigned to a particular product because gst was implemented recently i'm sure most of you will know your hsn codes if you don't know it's again very simple go on to google put your product name and you will get the hsn code you will need this the second thing that you got to do is go on this portal called commerce.gov.in it's called commerce.gov.in on that portal go to trade statistics and go to export import data yearly now when you go in that you will be able to put your hsn code and you will get a lot of information commodity wise country wise and several other bifurcations you just click on that and you will know what product is exported in what country uh, and you'll get yearly comparison so you can compare the last year versus this year you can see the top countries etc etc and select the countries you really want to do business in now with all good exports there are government incentives for those exports there are relation trade relations that are made, made right to know information around all of that you there are these other two websites that you could refer to the first one is indian trade portal dot in and the second one is trade map dot org needless to say there are heaps and heaps of third party websites that will give you the buyers data buyers data country wise buyers data on how much did they really buy you can simply google it up and take advantage of these portals having said this i would still suggest do your basic research on the government websites 
once that makes sense then go to these third party websites because all of these third party websites will have a paid option you don't want to pay on something unless you know that that payment is going to give you roi so whether this business is lucrative or no and in which country do the basic research on the website that i gave you and then you may want to go to third party websites take memberships etc and put that give yourself that extra edge by getting exact buyer information on these third party websites so the third component is how do you go about marketing what are the avenues available to you so that you can promote your product in the country that you want to export the first one which i think is the most lucrative option in my opinion is to find a buying agent in the country that you want to export so how do you find that out well the country that you want to export will have an embassy of your own country you can reach out to that embassy via an email and ask them for the buyer's data when they give you the buyer's data or buying agent data you will be able to email them correspond with them and select the buying agent you could do the same thing on portals like india mart you could go on to india mart or simply google up buying agents uh, india mart and it will give you several links for buying agents for that particular product these buying agents charge you a commission for whatever trade they bring to you and uh, you you can move ahead with them other than appointing buying agents the indian government is also wanting the country to export and i will do a separate video on why export is so important for india and indian economy but for now indian government gives a lot of incentives it organizes a lot of trade fairs exhibitions uh, where which you can take advantage of and a lot of money that otherwise uh, an entrepreneur would have to spend is given by the government of india so if you were to travel to some country and you go via the promotions of the uh, of the government 90% of your fare travel fare some amount of your booth fees uh, the product that you move from one country to from your country to another country uh, the expense that you do on that all of that will have some uh, and a large chunk of money paid by the government so you can actually take advantage of all of this government will also do exhibitions where they would get foreign buyers here now important point to note whenever government does this the government will do this via the export promotion council which is why it's very important for you to take the membership in the export promotion council because that's how you will know and you will be able to take advantage of the promotions the third avenue is by contacting the chamber of commerce for your country in the country that you want to export so when i wanted to start my business in singapore i did go to the indian chamber of commerce in singapore and they are very very and helpful to tell you how and what you can do to start your business in that country they help you and they guide you they answer all the questions that you have so go approach them other than the chamber of commerce there is also a trade promotion council in the countries that you want to export so go to the trade promotion council they also will be able to give you buyers data uh, and several other things uh, also one more point that i must mention export promotion councils from time to time may also give you leads and you can buy those leads leads of people who want to buy your own product so i know this video has been a full on you may want to rewind this video and see from the start and make notes so that you can action this i'm sure you have a lot of question but i'm i i this is what i want to encourage go do research on all of these web portals that i mentioned and ask me specific questions in the comment box you can also go to my website and you know what the drill is and i will be very happy to answer your questions there was also an interview that i had done on exports i will mention the link of that in the description box and if you are watching this on youtube it will also appear on the i icon on the top so watch that video as well more on this if you want mention in the comment box and i will do a detailed video on any of the things or things that are related to export but i haven't discussed in this video guys if you stayed so far i'm sure you enjoyed the video so don't go away without liking it your likes absolutely encourage me to continue doing the work that i do so i truly truly appreciate it 
If you have not subscribed to this channel, go hit the subscribe button. That way you will get notified on all the videos that I do that can help you grow your business. Share this video with all the manufacturers, all the traders, all the aspiring entrepreneurs who want to get into real legitimate business and do it well. Because we live in the ecosystem, if they benefit, you are going to benefit, we are going to benefit. So until we meet next time, keep learning, keep implementing and all you wonderful folks, keep prepared.